So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of these shoes um, using a very easy selection feature in Photopea. So first off, I'm going to just create a duplicate of the background layer just um, by pressing the command or control J, depending on if you're a Mac or a PC user. And now I'm going to go to the magic wand tool or press W as the shortcut. To be honest, it could be any, any of the three tools in the magic wand subfolder here. Um, and we're not using the magic wand, but we're just bringing you, we're just selecting it to bring up the select subject button at the top. Now you don't need to worry about all these other um, tolerance figures and all these other options. They don't relate to select subject. Select subject just does its own thing. So we're going to try it on this image and hopefully it will pick out these shoes or at least give us a starting point as a selection. There we go. So if you can see, it's identified the shoes as the main subject of the shot. So this is like select subject. It's not just talking about a person. It's talking about what it feels like the main object of the shot is. So even though we've got this big magazine down here, and this is why I chose this image um, to see if it will get confused, it's kind of ignored that and it's kind of worked out somehow that the shoes are what we wanted to select. And that actually looks like a pretty good selection by eye. So what I'm going to do here is, because I want to do a couple of adjustments in this example, I'm going to put them under a folder and into a group so that it, it just makes it easier. So we're just going to click the new folder button down here. And because we've got a live selection, I'm just then going to straight click onto the layer mask um, button there. And it's added that mask to the folder. So if I alt click on that um, layer mask on the uh, actual layer section here, it just gives us a preview of what the mask looks like. And that looks like, sorry, and that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go in here. There's a myriad of ways to change color. In this particular particular example, I'm just going to use hue saturation. It's a good place to start for a lot of things. My tip is on something like this, never use colorize because it's going to just artificially wash everything exactly the same tone it looks bad. So for example, if I bring this up hue over here and I click colorize, you can see, well, it's changed the color as default, but it's just washed out all those white labels it's now made and everything looks really falsely colored. So really avoid using that. What you can do if you're finding that it's giving you some strange, like two tone color, unwanted sort of color breakdown and things, you can change the actual layer itself to a blending mode of hue or color. And sometimes that can help to just um, make things look a little bit more natural. But what might ha what you might find is it might make them lighter or darker. So what you can always do is play around your hue and obviously you can change the saturation if you're in color blending mode or normal not when you're in hue but normally you can change the saturation and we get a bit more muted look something like this and then if you wanted to if you felt like it wasn't quite dark enough you can just put another adjustment layer in so a curve for example and because we've got the layer mask on the folder itself and we're putting the adjustments in you don't have to keep duplicating the mask to make adjustments so we could just tweak this down, tweak it up. We can put a bit more contrast in the shoes if we want by dragging the top point of the curve slightly up and the shadow area slightly down, making a little class guesser to make them pop a bit more. Um, and I think that way is a really flexible way of changing colors, especially in an image like this.